good stuff. Nearly done. At 70 years old, Jim has decided now is the time to get his first tattoo. It's the badge of Auchinleck Talbot, a non-league village football team who are heading to Scotland's capital in the Scottish Cup. And this is your first ever tattoo? Absolutely. Why? Well, it's the biggest game that Auchinleck Talbot's ever played, so I need to something to remember it by. In 30 years, I've travelled 126,000 miles to watch the Talbot, right? So. It's fantastic. And this is it. This is the pinnacle. Auchinleck used to be a mining village, but the pits closed, jobs were lost. Now the people have their football club. No, Mum. Jim's 90 year old mother is the oldest supporter. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, aye. Remember, I've got Auchinleck to my blood, now I've got it my skin. So you have, James. That's beautiful. You've seen a lot of changes in the village. Oh, aye. How's it changed? Oh. Well, bet it one way, all the pits shut, all the shut, all the factories shut. They're nothing. They're well, nothing in your leg. Does that mean that a game like this on Sunday means more to people here? Oh, aye. A bit I, of pride. I think it does. I think. Oh no, that means a lot. Oh, oh, leg. They're Talbot daft. Just like your son. The whole village. It's just a wee village, but by God, we've got a good football team. In this Ayrshire village of just over 3,000, people wear their colours on their sleeve, and on their ankles, and on their front gate. I left the house one day to go and get my wife's name tattooed on my arm, and when I go out there, I change my mind and I come back with Talbot tattooed on my arm instead. You got the football club instead? Yes, he did so. <laughs> well, that's his one true love, so. Mm -hmm. Sunday must say? mean a lot to you as a family. Yeah, definitely. definitely so. Sunday will be the part-time village team of bricklayers and postmen versus the professionals. Hearts are coached by a former Scotland international manager. Auchinleck Talbot have Tommy Sloan, a forklift truck driver. Do you get time here to think about tactics and how you're going to beat Hearts? I've got to say no there, but uh, <laughs> it's always in your head, of course. It's maybe always uh, in my head this week especially. Mm -hmm. Such a massive tie. But us being big underdogs probably helps a wee bit. Uh, nothing much is expected of us. Keep going. One of Auchinleck's star players is a teacher for children with learning disabilities. Do you think Auchinleck Talbot can actually win on Sunday? Yeah! <laughs> That's a lot of confidence, Stephen. I see that, yeah. Fingers <laughs> crossed. He says the manager doesn't have any special strategy for the big occasion. No, he doesn't say much about tactics. Um, if he's talking about opposition players, he'll say, oh, that, that one with the funny haircut, or this one is a uh, big tall guy, can he run? That, that's his tactics, and he just tells us, sleeves up, hands in the faces, and it's, it's, worked, for him for, it's worked for him for 12 years, so he's not going to change it, is he? <laughs> that's the tactics against Hearts? Aye, that'll be the same, same tactics. Sleeves up, stuck Aye, in? Sleeves up, get stuck in. Auchinleck have no budget for sports scientists and dietitians. They do sprints in the mud beside the school. But they do have the raw passion of a proud village with them. And that's something the riches of modern football can never buy. Peter Smith, ITV News, Auchinleck.